Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So this time around I'm going to be continuing our videos about the build pipeline with Unity. Last time I showed you how to actually create a, a build script and that build script was basically executed from the deploy sh bash script and what it actually did was it generated a, a build for us. In this case it was for Linux. 64 and we were exporting the build to a build directory so and if you recall the deploy sh basically what it does is cleaning up the build directory and then open up unity in silent basically in, in kind of like a silence mode and then executing the the perform build script so what i'm going to be doing now is the build script i actually want to expose it as a menu in Unity, so I'm actually going to jump into Unity, and what I want to do is I want to actually add a tab in here that is going to allow us to access different tools within Unity. So if we go back to Visual Studio, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a, uh, an attribute in here, which is basically going to be menu item, and we're going to say that this is going to be or or scripts or utilities. Let's just call it utilities, custom utilities. And then instead of custom utilities, this one you know, specifically is going to be for building the standalone Linux 64. So we can just say build standalone Linux. So now if you go back into Unity and just let the editor script compile, it's actually going to add a, a new tab on the, on the toolbar here. So let's just give it a second. And we can now see custom utilities. If you click on that, you'll see the build standalone Linux 64. So the cool thing with that is we actually don't need to go and execute the deploy SH anymore. We can actually do it right within Unity, and it's going to create a build in the directory that we designated. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to focus this video on building asset bundles. So what I'm going to be doing is it's going to be a multiple step process. So I'm going to create a new folder under assets. And this folder is going to be called 3D Models. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a 3D model here in in Unity, and or you can use you can do that in Maya as well. So I'm just going to create a cube. And if we create a cube, and let me actually just go back into the going back back into the scene view, you can see that it's just plain cube created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create multiple. So I'm going to create a, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to duplicate it one more time. So on the, the first one is going to be, I'm going to call it cube the same for cube small. We can just say cube MD for medium. And we can also do cube LG for large. And what I'm going to do is on the medium one, I'm just going to do a scale of 1.5 all the way across. And it works. And we can also do the same thing with large, but except I'm going to do two on X, Y, and Z. Perfect. So technically, we're going to be able to, to load these from, from the asset bundle. So I want to make sure that I'm, I'm preparing these. and and they all are sized correctly. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm actually just going to drag and drop them into the 3D models folder so that we can create prefabs. So I'm going to drag them and drop them into there. So I have one for the for the small, one for the median, and one for the large. And we can actually just get rid of them. I don't need to I don't need to keep them anymore in my view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open yeah, I want to make sure they're all set at zero. And I'm going to do the same thing with the medium. So I'm going to set the position to zero, 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 just so that we have them basically clean. So that's okay. So that's perfect. So we can go back through. Perfect. So now we have our three prefabs. So now, how do we actually assign a bundle to them? So the way that it works is you, you just basically select the the prefab through the through the project and you'll open up the inspector and in the inspector you're going to see asset, asset bundle 
So we don't really have any asset bundle created yet, so I'm just going to create a new one. And I'm just going to call it cubes. And that's really all you, all you have to do. So for each one of them, I'm just going to assign it the cubes asset bundle. So they also should be assigned to that asset bundle. Perfect. So the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to build the asset bundle. And to do that, we're going to go back into our Visual Studio. And I'm actually going to create a new, I'm going to duplicate this entire method. And I'm going to call this build asset bundle. And we can leave it a standalone Linux 64. That's fine. And then build, we can just say perform asset bundle build. And the the way that this works, it, it works a little bit different than, than how we had it, how we do the, the build player. So I'm just going to basically just comment that out. And you're actually going to call a different method. You're still going to use the build pipeline, but you're going to use the build asset bundles method. And it's going to ask us for an output path. And this is where we want to actually load the asset bundles from. So we can put you know that anywhere in the file system. So what I'm actually going to do is I already have. So if I go into the if I go into my project, I'll show you what I have. And open up a folder, and I'm actually going to go into C, and then users. This case is going to be myself. And then I have a source directory where I keep the where I keep the code. So I'm gonna go into my Unity build pipelines, and I have a build scripts. I also have a test project. This is the Unity project. I'm actually gonna create a new folder here, and this folder is gonna be called Asset Bundles. And perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do the. So I'm gonna go back one directory because if you notice, this is in Assets. So, and then we're just going to go asset bundles. It's basically where we're going to put it. And we don't need any of these parameters. And then the next parameter is going to be the build asset bundle options. So I want to basically compress it. So I'm going to use chunk based compression. And the last parameter is going to be the target platform. So for the target platform, we're just going to do Linux, just Linux 64, just like we did on the, on the build. So I'm just going to do a standalone Linux 64. Perfect. And I'm going to delete everything else. So now the cool thing with this is we can actually go back into go back into Unity. And we should see a new option under Custom Utilities. Just give it a second. And just click on it. And now we have the build standalone 64, which is just basically a regular build, and then our asset. So if we click on the asset and just give it a second, we should see a pop-up saying that it's building building our assets if, if everything works. And if we go back into our asset bundles, and let's just give it Give it a second here. Let me just make sure everything. Okay, looks like it's building. It just took it just took a second to to kick in. Okay, so it looks like it took a minute. So now we can see that we have the cubes asset asset bundle created, and it looks like it's completed. So it created an asset bundles and also a cube. So now that we have the asset bundle, how do we actually go about loading loading the asset bundle and actually instantiating some of those prefabs? So if we go back into Unity, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new script right here, actually a new game object, and this is going to be you know load asset load in. Actually, let's just do load asset bundles, and I'm going to create a new script under. The scripts folder and this is gonna be load asset bundles and we can just associate the load asset bundles with that script let's just click on a component and there we go 
So you load as a bundles. Perfect. And looks like I just got a got a Unity error for some reason. Okay, so let's go back through and actually open up the load as a bundles script. Or we can go into Visual Studio and just reload. Okay, perfect. So so what I'm gonna do is on star I want to I want to load the, the asset bundle. So I'm gonna do a private asset bundle. So basically just an asset bundle and then asset bundle. So on a start what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do asset bundle equal and then resource resources that load and we're just gonna tell it what we want to actually yeah we want to we actually want to do as a bundle that load so we can tell it to load from a file we can tell it to load so we're gonna be in this case we're gonna be actually loading from a file so we have to specify the path of the asset bundle with that we specify on the other directory. So I'm actually gonna do the another variable here that's just public and then string and then asset bundle path. And then this is gonna be the location of the asset bundle. So we're just gonna do this and then perfect. So let's actually go into Unity and in the load asset bundle, I'm going to specify the location. So if we go back through here, we can actually specify the fully qualified location. Let's let it load. And I'm actually just going to say, OK, my asset bundle is located in that directory. Perfect. And now let's go back into Visual Studio. And if everything works, then asset bundle shouldn't be null. So I'm just going to say if asset bundle equal null, then we couldn't load it. I can just say debug that log could not load asset bundle, else asset bundle was loaded. Perfect. Or we can simply just do a ternary, which is which is probably cleaner, but that's fine for now. It's okay. So I'm just gonna remove the those comments. Let's clean this up. Now let's go back into Unity, and I'm just going to just hit play and make sure that I don't get any errors. And we can go back into our console and just give it a second. And looks like he wasn't able to load the asset bundle. Let's see, unable to open the archive file. So if you if you remember the the name that I gave the asset bundle was cubes. So we need to actually specify that is the cubes. And if you go back through, you can also see that that's the name of the asset bundle. So I'm just gonna hit play. Give it a second, and we can actually go into our console. And asset bundle was loaded, so it looks like that works. So now, how do we actually instantiate an asset bundle? So if we go back into Visual Studio, and I'm actually going to create a new method here called void create, or we can just call it instantiate instantiate cubes, and we're going to instantiate all the cubes. Perfect. So now that I, that I have the asset bundle created, we can actually do something that is really great. So you can say asset bundle that load asset. And we can actually tell it the name of the asset that we want to load. So if you remember, this was actually called cubes SM. And we can just say this is the, the small cube. We can actually do the same thing with every one of the ones that we instantiate it so we can do the medium one we can do the large and I'm just gonna say MD here actually let's just spell it out and then the same thing with the last one so this is gonna be large perfect 
and now if we scroll if we scroll down and we can actually use instantiate it. I'm, on, I'm only going to instantiate one at a time. So let's actually do this instead of, so I'm just going to do, allow the user to select which one they want to instantiate. So I'm just going to say cube name. And let's just set a default, which is going to be cubes SM. And instead of doing them all, I'm just going to do just the variable here. And this is just this is gonna be called cube. Perfect. And then we just call instantiate. And then we can pass it the, the cube that we want to instantiate. Perfect. And I'm just gonna call this after the start method is executed. And actually I'm just gonna do it right when you know if the asset bundle is is loaded. That's when we're going to instantiate the cube. This case is going to be just singular, so just just rename it. And just cube, perfect. Now if we go back into, let's go back into Unity. And we actually don't need any of these, but we can remove it right after. So I'm going to go back into, into the game. And we're going to hit play. And if everything works, we should see that the cube got loaded. And it looks like it didn't get loaded for some reason. So we can go here into the, so let's go back through and find out why. So cubes SM was the name of my, oh, it's actually all singular. So if we go back and in the load as a bundle a script, we can go into inspector and we can just say cubes actually cube SM, which is the name of the, the original asset. And we hit play. And if everything works, we should see that the cube gets loaded. And for some reason it's not getting loaded. So let's, let's find out what's going to, we don't need to attach the unity. I'm actually just instantiating a cube when the asset bundle hasn't been loaded. So we don't want to do that. That happens when it's after midnight and I haven't had a coffee. <laughs> so there we go. So that should work. So now let's go back into Unity. Hit play. And if we hit play, we should see that the queue gets created. We should see that the asset bundle was loaded and we also should see the queue getting created. So now if we go into the scene view, that was our small cube. So now if I go into low asset bundles, inspector, and let's say that we wanted to do the large one. So we can do cube underscore LG. And then we can hit play one more time. And we should now see that the large one is the one that is getting instantiated. And that's what happens. So that's really all it takes to basically create an asset bundle you know that you export to the file system and the way that you load it is by using the asset bundle interface so if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you guys